What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Real Touch GML here, back with another Minecraft Game Maker tutorial. And it's been a week now, but I am ready to get back into giving you guys all of the Minecraft you guys want. So let's go ahead and begin today. What we're going to be doing? This has been requested throughout the comments back in the earlier tutorials, but I figured we might as well get it done now before we go any further. And that is biomes. Uh, so you want to be able to create actual biomes in your game. So as you can see, we've got like this grass, uh, you know, this grassland here, and then you kind of stubble into a desert now. And this is one I pre-made. We're actually gonna, we're gonna uh, still, or I am going to, we're gonna create a whole another biome. So I'm not just gonna show you code here. Uh, this is gonna be actually, you know, how to. Uh, do that so here yeah we've got sand uh, I even added stuff in here like sandstone um, if we can find it no I don't want coal come on now and I know the sand doesn't fall that's just ah uh, here it is so yeah we've got some sandstone spawning and uh, it's pretty cool alrighty so let's go ahead and actually begin so First off, I'm gonna kind of show you how it actually works, the uh, the biome creation, and that will probably help you in creating all the biomes you want because this is really set up so you could have 10,000 biomes if you really wanted to. Um, it's all random, so there's not really a fixed thing here. So let me just go ahead and undo that and run the game again to show you. Okay, so we actually spawn here, and we have a couple variables, current chunk, ch chunk count, and chunk length. So I just call them chunk, but they're really the biome lengths or whatever, so just, just yeah, that's, I don't know. Uh, so current chunk is zero. Basically what current chunk is, is that is what biome are we currently spawning. Zero is our grassland, you know, our normal terrain. One is our desert. I only have two biomes. Now, the chunk length is going to be how long is this grassland biome going to actually uh, exist? You know, so how long is it going to go on for? And our chunk count, just basically every time we create a new chunk uh, in our system from like way back in like tutorial two or whatever, uh, it just adds to that chunk count. And then when it hits the chunk length, it's now going to uh, check another random uh, zero through one variable and if it hits one, then we're gonna start spawning desert. So we keep going here. So now, as you can see, it hit one. The chunk length is now turned to one. So this is gonna be a, a small desert. So if we keep going this way, the desert will be coming up here soon. Do, 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 do. You just need to pass this chunk. Because it again, from the other tutorials, it's loading way out there, you know? And let's hop up on here do, 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 do. so yeah this kind of does predict a little bit ahead but okay so here's our here's our uh, our desert right you know so kind of just spawns into a desert we've got cactuses spawning um, do, 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 do. and this is gonna be a short desert because the chunk length was one so if we just keep going we're gonna run right back into uh, the grassland here come on now you know, a chunk I believe is 3200 oh yeah so there we go so now here is the grassland so it was a short desert anyhow we're going we're going to um, oh yeah and like it, water doesn't spawn in the desert all that fun stuff so that's just kind of how it works. You got the current chunk, the chunk count, and the chunk length. Then it works in both directions, obviously. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. What we're gonna do, or what was I, I was thinking of doing, is just creating the uh, the winter biome. Um, now I'm not gonna actually like you know a winter biome can spawn right next to a desert biome, which can spawn right next to a uh, a <laughs> normal biome. Or normal grass biome but we're not going to really go in for a realistic approach here you can do that on your own time I know you can do it you just got, you're gonna want a, the code for creating the actual biome itself all right so I'll be right back with creating the sprites for the grass or the uh, the winter biome and I'll be right back 
All right, so I am back, and what I went ahead and did was just create the very badly created, but like a snowy grass top, a snowy type dirt, and then a ice, uh, an ice block, which would be the snow, but I just made it, or uh, not the snow, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, the, uh, the water, but I just made it the ice. So, and then we could go into creating like, you know, snowy leaves and, and all of that stuff, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to do that. All right. So let's go ahead and run into what or how it works. So what I did is I created two different scripts for the generate, uh, for the normal, you know, just the terrain and then the generate for the sand desert type thing. And also, let me go ahead and create these blocks real quick. So I'm just going to duplicate grass and call it object grass snow. Or I'll just do capital S just to, uh, just so I know. I don't have to write that out every time. And this is going to be image 13. So image index 13. We're going to have the same toughness. Okay, and then we're just going to duplicate dirt so object dirt snow and I believe this is just gonna be 14 and then we can duplicate the water I'm gonna actually group these all together this is gonna be object ice and this is 15 and I'm just gonna create a group real quick that just says uh, snow just so it's kind of organized. There we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna basically duplicate uh, generate norm, which I did with the sand. And it's gonna be generate um, snow. And here it's basically the same script, um, except instead of object grass, we're just gonna say object grass as we can keep the coal, we can keep, say the dirt here, and then instead of water, we say ice. And then with the ice, um, we're not going to want to have any physics done. So let's just delete this, yes. All right, so yeah, that is basically it. Uh, if you want to see the sand one here, I mean, again, it's basically the same. Instead of instead of object tree, we have cactus. You know, instead of I, I actually took out so that diamond can't spawn here. Instead of stone, I said sandstone, um, and all that stuff. So I mean, really, it is the same script, but uh, yeah, we're just we're just changing around objects that are created. So I'm going to go into the object generate here and in the create event. Now I'm going to add another one, choose zero, one, two. So I created these variables, global.currentChunk, and this is in the create event of the object generate, global.currentChunk equals choose zero, one, or two. Okay. Then we have global.length, which is normal, normal. And then, we, well, then we have global.chunk count equals zero and global.chunk length equals four random three plus one. Now, if you wanted to have longer biomes, you're gonna wanna increase this number here. And then this right here, plus one, that is no matter what, it's going to be at least one, uh, one of length. Okay, so again, if you wanted longer biomes, then you're, you're gonna wanna jack that up a little bit. But I, I found that three is pretty good. All right, and I'm just checking here. Everything should be good. So now let's go into the player, into the step event. And here is where it gets kind of confusing. So um, normally we would just have uh, this code, blah, 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 can create equals false, global.length equals generate norm, and then can create equals true. But I've added stuff. So basically we say can create equals false. Then we check what the current chunk is. Now a switch statement would probably be better. I'm too lazy to put in a switch statement. So we just have an else if ladder. So in here, I'm also gonna say two instead of sand, snow. All right, so we're saying if global.current chunk equals zero, then generate this type of chunk. If it equals one, then generate this type of chunk. 
if it equals to generate this type of chunk and then we and then we go down to here and this is basically just uh, this right here is basically just controlling if our chunk has been met and if we want to create another one blah 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 so if global dot chunk length is greater than global dot chunk count global dot chunk count plus plus now if plus plus doesn't work for you you're not in studio you say plus equals one all right so if you get an error when you say plus plus then just do that else this means that uh, global dot chunk count is uh, is less than global dot chunk length wait hold on no this just this just means global dot chunk length is less than chunk count because our chunk count has been added so many times that it will soon this global dot chunk count will be above chunk length which is what we want uh, then we're just gonna reset it so global dot chunk count equals zero we're gonna reset the length and then we're just going to say global.currentChunk equals 0, 1, or 2. The same exact thing. Same down here. 0, 1, or 2. And then we can copy this. Paste it down for 2. Snow. And there we go. So that is basically it. Now, all, all you have to do in here is if you want another chunk, just you know add 3, 4, 5, 6, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty easy and these scripts can be very very easily um, created since we already have the basis of the one so let's go on and run it now it's not gonna be a full transformation because uh, you know we don't have the trees and all of that fun stuff but okay so now we've already got current chunk equals two so now we're gonna we're gonna run into the snow biome quite fast here and here it is so now we have the snow biome so now as you can see we have you know the ice where uh, where uh, you know the water would be we have this snowy block we still have the stone and uh, we have the dirt and all this stuff it doesn't look too good to be honest but uh, you know you could pretty that up there and you know here's the ice again so there we go I kind of looked out <laughs> I kind of lucked out with finding this fairly quickly but uh, yeah so go leave a like go and subscribe this might be confusing go ahead and rewatch the video a couple times uh, I'm sure you'll get it and uh, have fun with your biome creations because this is the fun part uh, of making games. You know, getting creative and seeing what the biomes you can do. Like, like, okay, so here, this is not very realistic at all. We've got a snowy biome right next to a desert. Yeah, that's that's cool. So, anyhow, let's go for 30 likes this time, and I will see you guys next time. You know, no, no, no. Let's go for 300 likes. All right. <laughs> see ya.